Hey folks, this is John Miller, Executive Editor with WB News. We would like to welcome you to Ask the Experts, featuring John Halderman of Beacon Wealth Management. John is the founder, owner, and certified wealth strategist at Beacon Wealth Management. You can find out more at bwmwb.com. And now live from the studios of the Exponent Telegram in Clarksburg, West Virginia, let's Ask the Expert. Welcome to Ask the Expert with Beacon Wealth Management's John Halderman. John, thanks for joining us again. Hey, you're welcome, John. Appreciate you all inviting us over. Well, I tell you, one of the things that I that I hear people say is like, well, I don't need financial planning. I don't have that much money. I guess mm-hmm. the question I have is, is, do you ever have that much money if you don't plan for it? <laughs> You know what, John? I, I think the very best time to plan is the day you start working. And now, that doesn't mean you need full-blown, comprehensive wealth management. you got to get everything, estate planning and all this stuff like that. But the one thing you have to do is you have to first start by saying, okay, where can I get free money? You know, free money is your company match. I tell someone, if you're going to work and you're getting you know, company match, if you're not at least putting in whatever the match is, then you're leaving money on the table. And I tell them, no matter what you pick, you got to start with that. So start with getting that free money. The second thing is you got to decide, am I doing this pre-tax or am I doing this on an after-tax basis? Because as a simple example, if you do it on pre-tax basis, you know, that means your money, you get a tax deduction. Your money grows tax deferred, but down the road, you're going to pay taxes as it's being distributed. Well, it depends on where the tax brackets go. You may end up potentially paying more in taxes. Whereas a lot of plans today offer the after-tax Roth option. And what that ultimately allows you to do is you don't get a deduction up front, but you get tax-free distributions once you hit the qualifying point. So that's an important thing because if you don't know those two things, you're not taking advantage of building wealth. And like you said, there is no wealth unless there's some planning. So I tell people, if you have a job and you're making money, you got to start thinking. Is there an age where you think they absolutely have to be involved with some planning to to make it work? I don't think there's an age per se. I just think if you're earning money, because, you know, it's like it's like the old adage that the sooner you get started, the, the bigger the avalanche, you know, the bigger snowball. You know, it's that penny a day doubling every day. You know, it's not about having masses of money. It's just having lots of days to accumulate. That's compounding effect. And so what I tell a person is it's to your advantage the more time you have. So if you have a 40-year time horizon, well, the more you think about it down the road, the better off you are because you think about this, okay? Let's say you worked all your life and you had exotic cars, you had super nice home, and you spent money. And all of a sudden you think, oh, I'm now 50. And now I'm going to start saving. Well, guess what? You've got such a small window. It's so hard to make up. And I will tell you that the person, and I call it the middle-class millionaire. You know, people ask me all the time, how do you know all these middle-class millionaires. And I said, because these people, they lived within their means. They didn't go out and buy the McMansions. They didn't drive the fanciest cars. You know, they had Hondas versus Mercedes. They didn't stay in the Ritz-Carltons. You know, they stayed at Marriott's. But because they did that, they systematically saved. And because of that, they built a big pile of money. I'm talking big piles of money. And when I say this, when when people with ordinary incomes can build two, three, four, five million dollar portfolios, that's an extraordinary job. But the key to that was not that they were financial geniuses. It was just about the fact that they got started early and they leveraged time. What, what, what do you suggest to someone who um, is looking for opportunities to, to get good advice? I mean, obviously you're there. Uh, you, can, you can help point them in the right direction. But are there like Five things they should be looking for. Well, you know, I mean, yeah, there's there's advisors, but if you don't want to use an advisor, today the internet makes it so beautiful. I mean, every retirement plan typically has a website, and with the website they have various forms of calculators. And what you just have to do is you have to run some of your own assumptions. You know, there's ways that there's all kinds of software you can use. And if you're a tech savvy person, you can get away with that because the one thing I know about being young and investing in the future is that if you make a mistake, you have time on your side. You can correct it. Now, I do believe that once you get to the age of 50 and you're within 10, 15 years of retirement and you're running out of time, well, the mistakes hurt just a little bit more. And so at that age, I definitely feel that you definitely need to leverage a professional. But in the early years, if you're saying, hey, look, 
I just want to get started. You know, then what you have to think about is, you know, what's my long-term objective? You know, what's my risk tolerance? Can Am I comfortable with growth? And then figure out what type of investments will help you grow. I mean, I will tell you that I've had so many people who turned into this accidental millionaire, not because they intended that, but because they put it into the 401k, they systematically did it for a long time in the stock market. And they weren't like big stock pickers, but they did it. And next thing you know, they had, you know, one to $5 million. And again, it wasn't because of their financial genius. It was simply because of the fact they were very systematic and living below their means and, and putting together an early strategy. So, John, as we wrap up here, what's your closing thoughts to someone about planning their financial future? Well, like I said, I think if you're if you're in it early, you got to get started early. I mean, if you're saving, if you're getting close to 50, don't mess around. You've entered that retirement red zone. At this point, you got to start thinking, what's the end look like? You know, when I say the end, you got to be thinking, OK, if I retire, what does that mean? What's my vision of retirement? How much income do I need? Where am I going to live at? You know, where am I going to get this money from? Um, you know, what's what, what, how much do I want to leave for my children? What lifestyle? Because, you know, a lot of people, they retire, try to retire in their 60s, and they don't think about, they want to do all these wonderful things, but they don't think about how much it costs to do these things. You know, like as a simple example, you know, I've heard people say, hey, when I retire, I want to take six vacations a year. And I'll say, well, how many are you taking now? They go, one. I'll say, okay, well, that's five more. I said, what savings did you have to take these extra five uh, retirement to go, oh, I just figured you'd know that. And I said, well, here's what I know is if you're going to plan for, I mean, if you want six, you've got to allocate the dollars for it. And so it's fully better to do that ahead of time than to wait to like the year you retire and go, hey, by the way, I want to start taking six vacations next year. That's not how this works. You got to think ahead. And so like, you know, if, if anything, whatever you think it's going to be, start planning now because there's never a better day than right now to try to get ahead for tomorrow. As always, great advice from John Halderman, Beacon Wealth Management. Thanks for joining us on Ask the Expert. Ask the Experts featuring John Halderman of Beacon Wealth Management. John is the founder, owner, and certified wealth strategist at Beacon Wealth Management. You can find out more at bwmwv.com.